want to talk now more about this, including about the efforts to prevent it from happening again. We are joined live right now by Parkland Mayor Christine Hunchovsky and Cindy Arenberg Seltzer, who's with the Children's Services Council. And thank you very much, both of you, for uh, helping shed some light on, on this very uh, tragic story. Uh, Mayor, let me start with you. Tell us what the city is doing to offer help. Yeah, so what the city has done is um, I immediately got in touch with Cindy Seltzer and she mobilized a whole group to get together from various organizations, various parents, people from Broward schools. And so um, our job right now is to make sure we're getting the word out about the resources that have been in the community for quite a while now and just reminding people that these resources are available and they should access them if they need help. And uh, to either one of you, this heartache just doesn't stop for your community. We know how much heartache there's been in Parkland and in the Stoneman Douglas community, but was there a concern or even a realization that some of these children were suffering to this extent? There was, to my knowledge, um, I can't speak to those specific suicides, but we have been concerned as a community, and when I say community, I mean all of Broward, that uh, suicides were a possibility. And so I have to say the mayor has been amazing from the beginning, harnessing resources to make sure that our children know that there are, that there are enough services for them. Um, so sometimes we hear that people aren't aware that the services exist. And part of the motivation of yesterday's meeting was to simplify the message and make sure that they know that the community cares, that there are services available, and all they need to do is ask, or, and now even more so, we'll be out in the community making sure that if they don't ask, we find them. Well, it's good that the service is out there. Cindy, uh, two important questions here. How can parents and other loved ones spot warning signs of a crisis? And then what's the best way to approach a person that you're worried about because of their emotional state? Well, they, I know there's a fear out there that asking the question, are you thinking of hurting yourself or committing suicide, will put the idea in someone's head. And the clinicians say, and the researchers, that's just not true. So if you are concerned, ask the question. And if you're afraid to ask the question, get one of their friends to ask the question. But make sure the questions get asked and take them to a place where they can get help. Call 211, text 741741, and it's important to put in the message box FL so you get connected to resources in Florida. There is help available if the situation is imminent. There's help available if they're just, if they're experiencing depression, trauma, anxiety. We have all kinds of services that range from talk therapy, trauma-focused CBT, to pet therapy, to uh, EMDR, which is, has to do with eye movements and trauma-focused tapping. There's a modality for anybody, wherever they may be. And Mayor, to you now, uh, there's still a stigma in this society about mental health. We know no one would feel ashamed about going to the hospital with a broken leg, but as a whole, it seems to still be that there's something wrong with asking for help for mental health. There's still a stigma surrounding it. What can we do to change that? I know part of this uh, campaign of you two coming out is to, to spread the word and to encourage people to get help. Right. Um, you can't end the stigma if you're uncomfortable talking about it. So we all have to create a dialogue with one another about mental health and talk about our own struggles, talk about what works for different people. Um, the only way we can end the stigma is for people to realize that, you know, there are a lot of people who are going through ups and downs in life. There are a lot of people who in their regular lives have experienced trauma. This is nothing abnormal or unusual in that sense. And it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to talk about it. And only if we do that can we ever have a chance of ending the stigma. Cindy, uh, one final question for you. Uh, what advice can you give people out there about finding the right therapist? Because that is such, that is so important here. So I hope that they'll reach out to Eagles Haven where we have licensed clinicians who can help explain the different therapies available, talk to you about what your needs are, and find that which is most comfortable for you. They're gonna try and match you with the best service 
that suits your needs at this time. And there is no fear, there's no stigma. Um, we can all benefit from some help. And I do want to add also at Eagles Haven, our wellness technique. So once you're past the point of dealing with the trauma, and if you don't need a therapist anymore, it's also about finding those tools that you need, because as the mayor said, we all face ups and downs throughout our lives, and we have to have those tools that can help us get through them. All right, Cindy Arenberg seltzer is with the Children's Services Council, and Christine Hunchofsky is the mayor of Parkland, which has been such a strong community throughout this uh, terrible ordeal. Ladies, thank you both very much for uh, joining us.